Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a duck telephone and this is Jennifer's telephone from New Jersey. And we've done an initial checkout video of this duck and basically Jennifer sent this telephone in because uh, she said it had a sick quack and basically the quack on the ring cycle did sound a little sick but it wasn't too far out of the realm of the way these ducks sound I've worked on enough of these ducks uh, to know that they have kind of a, a raspy kind of a slow quack sound and hers was out of the realm a little bit but not too far and so uh, what we have here is I've gone ahead and went through the circuit board and replaced some components made sure everything was up to value and uh, we have a, a switch here with uh, three different sounds and one of them is going to sound uh, like what it did when it came in only a little faster and not so sick and some may say they all sound sick but that's basically the fallback to the way these ducks sounded um, it takes a little bit to create that quack sound and uh, some may say it doesn't sound like a duck at all but you know after all this is just a telephone and uh, this is the way they they designed the board so basically I have three sounds here um, that was the best way that I could figure out how to tell Jennifer or let her hear it for herself and uh, maybe pick one of these sounds what she uh, thought was best now we might even be able to uh, since this is a very small area and there's no way to tuck the switch on the inside I might be able to where this uh, where this knockout is here on the plastic cover underneath the duck I might be able to sneak this switch inside here and she could pick the three um, different sounds the quacking sounds or maybe she'll she could pick one of the three of uh, of an A B and C that's what we're gonna call them A B and C so I'm gonna go ahead and ring the duck now I'm pretty sure it's on the mode where uh, it's gonna sound a little better than it did when it came in I didn't want to take it too far out of value and I'm gonna go ahead and ring the duck now I'm going to let that go a couple times because I want Jennifer to be able to hear this. I'll let it go one more time and we'll call this A. I'm going to stop that. Now I'm going to go to B. I'm going to switch the switch and go to B. You notice it's sped up. that go one more time now I'm gonna go to C that's just a little quicker than B I'll let that go one more time and I'm gonna put it back on A Now we're going to switch this to C. I'm sorry, that was B. I'll let that go one more time and then I'll go to C. There's C.
we'll go back to B. Now that slowed it down just a little bit from C. And then A. Let that go a couple times. Go to B again. And then C. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the ring. Now basically, um, I'm going to see what Jennifer um, likes out of those three. Um, and hopefully she'll like one of them because basically we can we can uh, speed up the uh, cycle on the board and slow it down but you always have to stay within a certain realm uh, you're never going to get away with uh, you know stopping the the raspiness of the sound that's just the way the board was designed and that's uh, you're not going to be able to get take it too far out of that realm um, and hopefully one of the sounds uh, will be sufficient and so that kind of shows you Jennifer that uh, you know maybe one of these is is going to be okay for you and um, hopefully that'll be the situation but that gives you three options of uh, what can be done now we we could give more options but you, you're never going to get away too much from where we're at right now because if you take this uh, circuit board too far out of the situation it's not even going to sound like a duck so um, we're kind of limited to kind of speeding up the uh, the duck quack so we'll do this one more time real quick That was the fastest one, which was C. We'll go to B. That slowed it down just a hair. And then we'll go to A. And we'll stop it there. So um, we'll just go ahead and wait to hear from Jennifer uh, if she decides that one of these are going to work out for her or if she would just prefer us to try to sneak the switch in this, uh, this little uh, area where you plug the line cord in and the handset. Uh, the switch will be visible, but it will be tucked down inside. Uh, if you notice, uh, there's probably some room. Now we might have some wires running back because this uh, this mount is so uh, there's such a small area here. We can't really get the switch on the inside. And if we were to put it on the back side right here, uh, you know, you would run into the wood on the underneath of the duck. So the duck has been hollowed out this much. Uh, the only place we could possibly tuck the switch would be in where the circuit board goes and there just isn't any room. So basically what we would have to do is come through um, this wall here and end up inside uh, this mount and uh, attach the switch in here and she could have her three different sounds if she wasn't happy with one of them. And um, she may not be happy with any of them but uh, that's basically within the realm of how this duck is supposed to sound and um, it, it doesn't you know I could hook up it would take me a little bit I could hook up her original situation but if you go to the first video you can sound where see where it sounds a lot uh, you know sicker than it does now so basically this will uh, this will be a, a better situation for Jennifer and we'll see so I'll just wait to hear from her, and uh, I'll send her the video, and we'll go from there. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com.
telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.